So welcome to My Camper Project Progress. Um, my camper is Violet and she is a 1976 Ventura. This is where she was parked. She is parked for about three years without being used. Um, this is the inside, the day I brought her home. She had a lot of water damage in her, but I knew I wanted to rip her down to bare bones and do a full reno. So this is what she looks like the day I brought her home, <laughs> out inside and out. And of course, everything's gotta go. So I ripped everything out of her. Um, this is the benching and the everything. So this front bench came out. Um, I'm working on the lights and the bulkheads. The lights are off now, the bulkheads off and everything took time. I didn't want to just start ripping, so I took every screw out and I was careful on pulling too much. So the back bench and the bed, the table are all out now. You can see the water damage under the windows. Uh, I don't know if you can feel that or not, but we got a thunderstorm. Well, rainstorm. Yeah, it's coming in sideways. Good test in the little camper. Part way through. So, of course, I had to take a selfie because I couldn't even get inside. It was a torrential downpour and thunder and lightning. So, <laughs> I had to take a selfie. So, the back windows there, like I was saying, you can see the water damage. It was quite extensive. So, I want to rip everything out just to get to the root of it and make sure that everything got filled. This front area was uh, gross. <laughs> so, I want to document it. It was the water had pooled underneath the linoleum there. And it mostly came from this back corner here. So you can see there is some water damage. Um, and all the wiring is now exposed. So then I can see where everything is coming from and make decisions based on being able to see everything instead of trying to guess where it's all coming from. So this is the front end, everything ripped out. The kitchen's gone, the bench is gone, bulkheads, insulation, paneling. She is bare bones. So I was, it is a lot of work, but I was super excited to do this. This is a project I wanted to do for like 15 years and finally got my hands on a camper that I liked. Um, so this is the back corner now. It's all bare bones. Everything is gone. There's a little bit of linoleum that I still need to uh, rip out of there. But this is the front end where I said it was interesting. This was disgusting and it smelled like crap, to be honest. It was nasty. So these lights, you can really see just how much work there was to be done. Um, these lights I pulled off. I had to sand and scrape and putty and fill and <laughs> there was holes going to nothing. <laughs> so these are the lights that I replaced everything with, but I didn't do that until later. Um, this is, so it looked like moss actually grew on this. So I took all the lights off and then I had to do multiple layers of sanding. And I mean multiple. I probably had to do three stages of sanding. Um, this is fiberglass on the outside. So I made sure to wear all the gear. So this is after three coats of sanding. And you can still see there's work to be done. So this is just a better picture of what I was actually sanding off. It acted like cement. <laughs> It was terrible. So all the things that I pulled out, all the plumbing, the furnace, the water lines, everything I pulled out. And then I used this foam board um, insulation to fill the holes because I wanted to use them as a template. Um, the fiberglass I am using or going to be using, you can't actually do over this foam board. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, so I use the foam board as templates. Also, <laughs> I used it to keep the holes filled so no animals got inside while I had other things to do. Um, so this is what it looks like from the outside and the decals did unfortunately stay on. I could not get those off to save my life. Um, so I painted over them. It is what it is. So now I finally filled them with wood. Um, there is a slight gap there but it still worked. No issues. And the small holes on the left side here, I actually left as is. The cloth fiberglass actually just went right over. I didn't have any issues. 
So this is the first day of fiberglassing. And let me tell you, this is not my favorite job. <laughs> I wore all the gear, all the gear, all the masks, everything. And here I am set up. I'm using everything that my neighbor showed me how to do. He has done this work before and he was a godsend helping me out a lot. So here's the front end of the trailer. Um, I actually added a little bit too much stuff in, in the Bondo, but this is to fill all the crackling that happened on the front end in the uh, for top coat of this. So multiple layers of this, lots of sanding, <laughs> lots of sanding, but slowly but surely she got smooth, she got filled. I got fiberglass done, not my favorite job, like I said, and I know I've made mistakes, but you know what? You learn from mistakes you make, and I know what I'll do different next time. So after I fiberglassed a couple of layers, then I bondoed over top to be able to smooth it out and then sand it down, have a smoother finish. So my holes are filled here. All the patches are done. I still have a little bit of work to do there, but I got her to where I needed her to be. I put this canopy over top because we had a lot of rain and I need to replace the vent cover. Um, and it kept it easier to work outside. So here's the vent cover. I actually replaced this with a brand new one. Uh, the actual casing was good, but the top part got blown off. This day started out so beautifully. This sunrise was just stunning. It reminds me of cotton candy. <laughs> So on to painting. This is the first coat of paint that went on. You can see it looks quite patchy. So it takes multiple layers of paint to get the color I actually want. I thought it was white because I had sanded it down. And then I put the first coat of white paint on and you can really see the difference here. So this is just the first coat and it makes a, such a difference. So you can see it obviously still needs some more. So I'm just starting on coat number two. And this is coat number three. So it makes such a difference. You get the full color. It's an Arctic white on the top and it's a violet on the bottom, a mountain violet on the bottom. And then I have pulled out most of the trim around the windows here. You can see the uh, screws exposed. I will be sanding the metal down and then replacing the uh, trim with white instead of black. Uh, this is the front window. So the, obviously the lights are not on yet, but they will be. And I'm, I'm, I'm not replacing the door, but I am refurbishing the door. So I'm gonna take it off and completely rebuild it as well. But she's looking a lot better. So my goal was to get the painting done before winter hit and I made it just in the nick of time. <laughs> so uh, the painting is done. She's sealed up for the winter here. And I will. I need to build and replace a, uh, a window guard here for that front window as a rock guard. But I've done the caulking around all the windows here now that the paint's had a chance to cure and dry. Um, I ripped this belly band out. It's black here. Um, but I'm replacing it with white. And then uh, the access door that I put in is just a single small access door uh, down at the bottom here. And I did it as white so it would match everything, but also so it's just a small door for the electrical cord to come out of. So now I've replaced the belly band and some trim with white. Um, I still need to sand down the metal part to make it all shiny and new, but this is what it looked like before I put the trim in. And it's still in really good shape. I just wanted to replace it with white so it would match. And then I finally got the new lights in. So I put all new lights uh, all around. <laughs> Every single light is brand new and it looks so much better. So this is the stage she's sitting at right now. Um, I'm just waiting for the snow to melt now and then I can get back out there and work on her. But this is the stage she's at right now. I'm pretty happy and now I will uh, keep you guys posted of the progress and hope you guys like this. I hope you stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.